There is no explosion, no collision, no final scream from the dying stars, just everything quietly fading away. Imagine standing beneath a night sky, but there are no stars left to see. Not because they've ceased to exist, but because their light no longer reaches you. The universe, once radiant with life and energy, is slipping into a cold, unending sleep. Space is still expanding, faster and faster, but not toward hope. Only toward perfect and permanent isolation. No more places to reach, no more lights to follow. Just the silence of cold, spreading like a whisper from the void. And this isn't science fiction. It's one of the most haunting possibilities in all of modern cosmology. Three simple words that carry the weight of eternity. The Big Freeze. Welcome to Astro, a place where we don't just explore the universe with our minds, but feel it with our souls. Each week, we invite you into mysteries that science still cannot answer. Not just to understand how the cosmos works, but to ask, where do we fit in all of this? And today, you and I, we're heading into the darkest horizon of the universe's future. A journey with no ending, but one that begins right here. We often imagine the end of things as something loud, a violent explosion, a cosmic crash, a final scream tripping through the dark. But what if the universe ends in silence? Since the dawn of time, we've looked up at the stars and wondered, where did it all begin? And where is it all going? We now know about the Big Bang, a moment, 13.8 billion years ago, when not just matter was born, but space and time themselves. Since then, the universe has been expanding. But here's the strange part. That expansion, it's not slowing down. It's speeding up, like a kite drifting farther and farther, with no one reeling in the string, only unraveling endlessly. So what's causing galaxies to drift away faster and faster until one day their light may never reach us again? The answer might lie in something we've never seen, never touched, never measured. And yet, it makes up more than two-thirds of all the energy in the cosmos. They call it dark energy. No one knows what it truly is. It doesn't shine. It doesn't absorb. It doesn't reflect. We only know it's there because everything around us is pulling apart faster than physics says it should. Imagine being inside a sealed room and every object around you slowly drifts away. No wind, no push, no force, just distance growled silently. This is one of the great paradoxes of modern cosmology. The universe isn't just expanding, it's thinning itself out, not because it wants to end, but because it can't stop. And if everything keeps stretching, cooling, slipping further apart? What's left to hold us to the rest of creation? Maybe the death of the universe doesn't begin with a bang. Maybe it started long ago with this quiet unraveling. Let's step into a moment where everything goes still. Imagine standing in a universe where nothing moves, no supernova explosions, no starlight, just stillness, an endless silent space, colder than anything we can even imagine. This isn't ordinary darkness. It's not just the absence of light. It's the cold of a universe shutting down. So cold, atoms stop vibrating so still, even the word heat loses meaning. According to the second law of thermodynamics, every closed system, whether a tiny lab or the entire cosmos, moves toward one inevitable state, maximum entropy. 
That means energy doesn't vanish. It just becomes useless. No more heat flowing. No more engines running. No more movement of any kind. Even time itself starts to unravel when nothing can change. Scientists call this the heat death of the universe. First, the stars run out of fuel. They fade quietly. Then white dwarves go cold. Neutron stars and black holes go silent. Eventually, everything becomes a frozen graveyard. No bursts of light, no final spectacle, just a slow, soft disappearance. Some theories say even black holes will eventually evaporate bit by bit through something called Hawking radiation, until one day they too are gone. And what's left? Perhaps only a whisper of photons, low in energy, drifting through space, frozen at minus 273.15 degrees Celsius. Absolute zero. A universe with nothing left to do. No one left to see it. No reason for it to go on. Not an ending with thunder, but a silence that fades and fades and fades. But then again, what if silence isn't the end? What if beyond that final chill, something still waits to be awakened? Let's walk a little further into the unknown. We live in an expanding universe. That much we know. But how far will that expansion go? And more importantly, how will it end? The big freeze. Long, cold, cosmic death. It's the theory most scientists accept. But it's not the only one. There are other endings. Stranger, wilder, and maybe even more terrifying. One of them is called the Big Crunch. Instead of expanding forever, the universe might reverse course. Galaxies stop drifting apart and start falling back together. Gravity takes over. Distances collapse. Temperatures rise beyond imagination. Everything that once expanded is now pulled into a single point. A cosmic implosion. Some physicists once believed the Big Crunch could lead to something new, a rebirth, like a phoenix, rising from its ashes, a cycle of creation, death, and resurrection. But the numbers tell a different story. The universe isn't slowing down, it's speeding up. And that leads us to something much more extreme, the Big Rip. Imagine this, not only do galaxies drift apart, but stars within them do, too. Then planets, then molecules, then atoms. Eventually, even the tiniest particles, quarks and electrons, come undone. In this theory, dark energy doesn't just push space apart, it grows. Faster and faster, stronger and stronger, until it tears through every force we know. Gravity, electromagnetism, even the strong nuclear force, all of it, trapped away. The universe tears itself apart. And here's the unsettling part. If this model is true, the end won't wait trillions of years. It could happen in just 20, maybe 30 billion years. So we ask, which road are we on? Will the cosmos freeze in silence or unravel in chaos? Either way, the answer depends on something we still don't understand dark energy, the silent engine behind it all. And if every ending depends on something we can't see, can't measure, can't define, then maybe the deeper question is who or what is writing the final chapter? But that is just one part of the mystery. Let's drift a little deeper into the quiet force behind everything. We know the universe is expanding. We even know it's expanding faster and faster. But what we don't know is why. Physicists gave it a name, dark energy. But naming a thing isn't the same as knowing it. It doesn't shine. It doesn't weigh anything. 
It doesn't interact with any known force. We can't see it. We can't touch it. We only know it's there because without it, nothing makes sense. Picture this. You're staring at a balloon, slowly inflating. But you see no one. No hands, no pump, no air hose. And yet, it keeps expanding. That is dark energy. The invisible hand pushing space itself outward. Right now, we believe dark energy makes up nearly 70% of everything. Stars, galaxies, planets, all of it just foam, floating on the surface of something deeper. Stranger. But here's the truth. We have no idea what it is. Some believe it's quantum vacuum energy, that even empty space has a pressure, a tension built into it, Others say it might be a shifting field, a dynamic force evolving with time. They call it quintessence. And then there are theories even stranger. Some physicists propose that dark energy doesn't come from this universe at all, that it's pressure from other universes. Pushing against ours from higher dimensions we'll never see. If that's true, then maybe we're not in the universe. Maybe. We are the bubble, drifting in an unseen sea of hidden realms. But here's what's even more unsettling. If we don't understand what's driving this expansion, how can we know where it's going? What if dark energy isn't constant? What if it changes, shifts, unfolds? Then the question isn't when the universe will end, it's whether already living through its turning point. In our search to map the cosmos, dark energy remains the deepest shadow on the chart. But maybe, just maybe, it's in that shadow where the answers begin to whisper back. And even that is only the beginning. Let's imagine something quietly heartbreaking. You're standing beneath a night sky. A sky that once shimmered with billions of galaxies. Each point of light, an island of suns, planets, and possibilities. A map of wonder spread across the dark. And then, the lights begin to fade. Not because the galaxies are gone, but because their light no longer reaches us. As the universe expands faster and faster, those galaxies cross a boundary. Their light slips past a cosmic horizon, the edge of what we'll ever see. The universe doesn't vanish. It just rifts out of reach, like a ship fading into fog. No signal, no sound, just silence. And what we're left with is a sky that grows emptier with every passing eon. According to some models, in about 100 billion years, every galaxy beyond our local group will vanish from view. No matter how powerful our telescopes become, there will be no sign the universe was ever this vast. And here's the strange part. If a new civilization were to rise in that far-off time, they wouldn't see a cosmos expanding. No Big Bang, no microwave background, no galaxies beyond their own. To them, the universe would seem small, quiet, and eternal. They would look up at the stars and wonder why there's nothing beyond. So here's the question. Could we right now be living in the only brief moment in cosmic history where we can still witness everything slipping away? And when distance stretches reality so far from us that no connection remains, what, if anything, will still tether us to the rest of creation? Maybe just memories, but even those fade if there's no one left to remember. Let's go deeper to the edge of what we can still see. And then as the universe begins to vanish before our eyes, the question is no longer how it will end, but whether we'll even notice when it does when there's no more light to follow, when the grand structures of the cosmos drift beyond our reach, when space and time 
dissolve into a haze of invisible dust. What's left for a mind still longing to understand, for a soul still reaching, for something to hold. Maybe we're living in a moment unlike any other, brief, shimmering window in the life of the universe. A moment when the full picture still lingers before us. A moment when we can still see what's slipping away. And as the final signals fade into a sea of cold microwaves, what remains may not be light at all, but the memory that we once knew it. If light is the last thing to leave a dying star, then maybe the final thought of a civilization has a chance to echo just a little farther. Maybe somewhere out there in a distant corner of the cosmos or of time, someone else is staring into the dark, wondering the same thing. Why must it all end this way? And is something or someone still waiting on the other side of silence? But even this is just the surface.